Good morning, Blue Devil Nation. At this time, teachers please lead students in the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Good morning, Blue Devil Nation. Here's what's happening in our high school October 30th, 2020. Today in Bella, there's a high of 47 and a low of 29. There's a 20% chance of precipitation, 88% humidity. Attention seniors, it's time to show your senior prize. Students are reminded to go to jawsons.com to order your custom graduation announcements, accessories, and cap and gown by Monday, November 2nd. You may also mail your order form to the address on the packet or drop it in the main office by Monday, November 2nd. The video link is on the senior, cl senior class Google Classroom and the order link is there as well. All caps and gowns must be ordered through this link. Attention sophomore, juniors, and seniors. What a great way to show your school pride and spirit. It's time to order your school class jewelry. The Joshins Class Jewelry Company is accepting your order now. Please see the label on the Rain Design Kit for savings when ordering before Monday, November 2nd. Place your order online by mail or go to Mrs. Riddle before Monday, November 2nd. Any questions, please see Mrs. Riddle. Students who sold peanut butter melt -aways. your money is due to Mr. McNall by Wednesday, November 4th. Mr. Sh Mr. Burge and Mr. Shire are planning a powder puff game for Thursday, November 12th under the lights at 6 p.m. Sign up at Mr. Burge's office and get practicing. Mr. Burge will have the permission forms and information. Happy birthday to Alyssa Spencer. Today for lunch is freshly baked Italian dunker, steamed peas with margarine, and warm apple crisps. Have a great day, Bellwood. Good morning, Blue Devil Nation. At this time, teachers please lead students in the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Good morning, Blue Devil Nation. Here's what's happening in our middle school today, October 30th, 2020. Today in Bell, PA, there's a high of 47 and a low of 29. There's a 20% chance of precipitation and the humidity is at 75%. Today's riddle of the day is, I am wrapped, but I am not a gift. I am kept neatly in a chamber and an archeologist find me as a great treasure. What am I? The answer will be at the end of the announcements. Eustace Beeler, please report to the office. Today's national days are National Speak Up for Service Day, National Candy Corn Day, National Pharmacy Buyer Day, and National Fragrance Sign Friday, National Breadstick Day. The fun fact today is the color orange was named after the fruit, not the other way around. Today's lunch is bag to lunch. Freshly baked Italian dunkers, garden salad with romaine diced pears. The quote of the day is, why fit in when you were born to stand out? The answer to the riddle is a mummy. And that's the bell of buzz. Have a frightening Friday.
Good morning, Bellwood Annis High School students and staff. I want to start today's message by stating that I'm proud of our student and staff effort to start the year. There were many concerns when it started back in August, but here we are nine weeks later, still in five days per week with 90% of our student body in person. I want to praise student and teacher efforts to be flexible and adapt with some of the necessary safety requirements. You've kept a positive mindset while working and learning in a less than ideal environment. Your return to school has reinforced one major point to me. The best place for students to learn is in school with their teachers. Your efforts show me that you all understand this point and you're working hard to ensure that learning lasts as long as possible. Now for the reality. Today marks the last day of the first marking period and two things are obvious. The COVID cases in our community are increasing and you, the students, are starting to lose focus and need a refresher on some of our school goals. So I'm going to share with you some reminders that although at times are tough and different, certain roles and expectations are still required to maintain a safe learning environment. Recently, we became aware of our first positive student and staff case at Bellwood Anna School District. Additional cases in Blair County are on the rise as well. Although we've been fortunate thus far, this positive case should serve as a reminder that we are not immune and must take precautions, even when they're inconvenient and uncomfortable. So let me start with masks. Your mask must cover your nose and mouth entirely unless your teacher is giving you a mask break opportunity. In this case, you must strictly adhere to the six foot rule when breaking from a mask. Some of you have become lax in this effort. Keep your masks on to protect you and others. Water bottles. Your water bottle is still permitted and encouraged to stay hydrated, but it must be a bottle with a screw on lid, not an insulated mug. Cafeteria. Do not move cafeteria chairs as they are to remain in their position to help with spacing while eating and masks off. We must maintain assigned seats to assist with future contact tracing efforts. Cell phones. The cell phone policy has not changed. The only time you should have your cell phone is during lunch. Otherwise, it shall be off and in your locker. Holes in the pants. The dress code policy has not changed from last year. No skin is to be exposed. Tights, leggings, and patches must be worn under the holes. Respect. In freshman orientation and at the beginning of each year, I speak of this term, respect. First, respecting school property. There's been an increase in vandalism in the downstairs boys' restroom. This behavior is unacceptable and needs to stop. Visits are restricted and should only occur to the restrooms after signing out with your classroom teacher in the period, not between periods. The actions of a few immature students should not reflect the character of our student body. If you see someone acting inappropriately, say something. Second, respect your iPad. You will soon be receiving a new iPad. Take care of it. I encourage you all to purchase insurance to protect your advice. Until you receive a new iPad, take care of the old one, as this device is necessary for how we're doing education now. Finally, respect each other. This is a volatile time in our community. Elections, social justice, riots. Our community has many individuals with various thoughts, ideas, and choices. Respect that. As Tuesday's election looms, be mindful of others and treat others the way you would like to be treated. It is not acceptable to treat someone poorly because they are different than you. Be nice and love your neighbor. This concludes today's address to the student body. Have a great day and go Bellwood. The group of homeroom students are dismissed the first period. Thank you.